Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today we're doing some wood Dollar Tree DIYs for Christmas. So I found this little wooden sign recently from Dollar Tree. I think they're coming out with some sort of new line of decor. But the first thing I did was sand this down and I'm using the color Fern by Waverly Chalk Paint to paint the entire thing. Then I just used my Cricut to cut out these trees. I thought this was just a really cute touch. And when I first seen this, I thought this would be perfect for a snow globe. So we're gonna just make a faux snow globe. And I thought it turned out so cute. So I love the trees, but you could obviously paint this whatever you want. I think I might end up making a gingerbread one if I can find another one of these signs just because it turned out so cute. And honestly, gingerbreads are kind of my thing for the Christmas season. I just love them and they just make my house so bright and happy when I decorate with them. I'm using some Mod Podge because we're going to be adding glitter. Now this glitter is by Arteza or Arteza, however you'd like to say it. And I love this glitter. I think it turned out so pretty and it didn't really fall off. So I didn't spray this down, but I mean, I may if it, the fallout of the glitter starts to kind of go a little crazy in the house. But overall, I think this one is so cute. I think this little Dollar Tree wooden tray is just one of those staples that I grab every time I go to Dollar Tree because there's always something that you can do with this. So the first thing I did was just go ahead and paint it. This is the color Crimson and this is by Waverly Chalk Paint. And I do get a lot of questions as to why I use chalk paint. It just covers so much better than acrylic paint. It's a little more expensive, but you don't have to use as much paint. So I think a little bit goes a long way. Obviously not always, but for the most part, especially when you're using wood items. All right, I grabbed these little gingerbreads. These are ornaments, they're from Amazon and I will link them if I can find them. I grabbed them last year and I just glued them to the inside of this tray. So it looks like a cute little baking sheet. I'm also using a Gorilla Hot glue gun. It is just my absolute favorite. I have used so many hot glue guns and it's just, it has to be my favorite. Now I grabbed some of these rolling pins. These are also from Amazon and I have had these for so long. I think they came in a pack of 30 or 40 for 10 or $12. Like I said, it's been a few years and if I can find them, I'll link them below. But I also decided to go ahead and add a little decal that says cookies. But if you have some stickers, you could do the same thing. Adding some of that puffy paint or I think it's actually fabric paint and I love calling it that. Uh, and then there you go glued it to the bottom and this is so cute. So on top of crafting, you guys, I have already started Christmas sh shopping. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have started Christmas shopping. And if you haven't, Ana Luisa is here for you. So I have gifted Ana Luisa jewelry for years. I love it for myself, but my daughter also wears it along with my mom and we absolutely love it. So if you've never heard of Ana Luisa, they craft high quality jewelry at affordable prices. They are carbon neutral from their packaging down to their products. Their jewelry designs are very unique and you can dress their pieces up or down. As for me, I'm always wearing some sort of sweatshirt. I don't know if you, I don't show myself in a ton of videos, but I always wear a sweatshirt, especially through the fall and winter time. But when I wear a few pieces of their jewelry, I still, it still makes me feel a little more put together than what I was before. Their jewelry is hypoallergenic, water resistant, and sustainable. This is one of the pieces that they sent me, and I just think this is so pretty and so beautiful. I love to mix and match gold and silver, so they do have the options of gold or silver on their website. And this is the Pebble Mini Silver, and that is what I'm wearing right now. And I just think this one is so I've, like I said, I've had Ana Luisa jewelry for so long, and I cannot say one bad thing about them. Eventually things seem to tarnish and they just don't look brand new, but I have to say I've had some of their pieces for over four years and they look brand new. And this is what it looks like. And yes, of course I am wearing a sweatshirt. It's just what I wear all the time. They also sent me this bracelet as well, and I decided to choose this one in gold because I will be using this as a Christmas gift this year for my mom. But of course, I had to try it on just to see what it looked like, and it is just so pretty. But she has another bracelet. I want to say I gave it to or gifted it to her for Mother's Day or maybe even Christmas last year, but it is one of her favorite bracelets. Also, Ana Luisa has fast and free shipping within the U.S. and anywhere else. It's crazy affordable shipping for you as well. 
So if you're like me and you're starting your holiday shopping now, I mean, you guys, it's almost November. You guys can check out my link in the description box below so you can check out Ana Luisa's jewelry. It is affordable and your family will absolutely love it just as much as mine does. Like I said, link will be in the description box below for you guys. The next DIY, I'll be using two of these bamboo cutting boards and I'm going to be painting them white. I am using Waverly chalk paint, but I did need to do two coats of these. This bamboo oil, whatever is on these just would not cover that great. I also use my Cricut for this as well. And obviously if you don't have a Cricut it's completely optional. So don't like feel bad if you don't have one. I just cannot draw. And if I drew faces on these, they just don't look that great. I have tried to make so many different snowman faces. And then when I go back and look at the craft, I probably won't end up keeping it just because I cannot draw very well. So I go for my Cricut any chance that I get, especially if I don't have to make eyes or a smiley face. All right, once those two were done, I found these really cute hats from Dollar Tree as well, $1.25. And you know, if you don't glue these, you can always reuse them for something different. I decided to go ahead and glue them. And I'm just using some greenery and some embellishments that I already had in my craft stash. And that's really all I had to do. I did end up using some fabric paint to paint the noses on because I did not have any orange vinyl, which is super crazy. So I wasn't even able to use orange vinyl for Halloween and fall. So I guess I better buy some of that for next year. But this worked for now. And I just like that it had a little bit more dimension in the noses than the faces. And I just think these are adorable. I found these really cute coffee mug decor pieces. I think these are just like little table toppers. I don't even know what you'd like to call them. Little signs from Dollar Tree. And of course I had to sand them down. I always sand them just to, it just makes painting so much easier if you sand first. Also use my Cricut for this one as well. And I will be using my Cricut a whole lot more. So if you do have one and you want some ideas, I have quite a few for you. I just think it just makes everything just look a little more high end. And like I said, I cannot draw or I cannot... I don't have the best handwriting, so you wouldn't even be able to read anything that I wrote. Uh, and sometimes just stickers aren't available like this, but uh, I think you can always find different types of sayings and stuff like this. Like on Amazon, I've always been able to find so many different stickers. I just try to use what I have on hand. So I, I say that's what you should do too. Just use what you have on hand. You don't need to spend a ton of money on crafts. These are supposed to be fun uh, and affordable. Uh, so don't break the bank uh, buying a ton of things that you don't need. All right, so of course, some faux sprinkles. These are made of polymer clay. I also found these really cute little chocolate bars. Uh, I think these are technically for slime, but I think they are adorable. And I just put two on there and then just wait for it to dry. And I think these are so cute. Like I said, this is kind of my theme that I go for for Christmas time. And I cannot wait to get everything out that I made last year. buy two of these. So I should probably go ahead and use the both of them. I am using the color hazelnut. This is by Waverly Chalk Paint. And I just always think this is such a good gingerbread color. Although some of the gingerbreads that I do buy, they're just a little bit darker, but I think that it works out pretty well. So I went ahead and cut out another decal. Now this one I did cut and I didn't use everything on the pre-made decal on Cricut Design Space, but I wanted this gingerbread bakery. And then this was also on it as well, along with like gingerbreads and some other sayings. And I kind of just <laughs> cut it up and used what I wanted, but I liked the cake, pie, cookies, and candy. And then I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. Now my gingerbread was not glued down. I just wanted to see where everything was going to work. And it's always best that you do that because if not, maybe or maybe not, my decal would have been messed up. Who knows, really? I mean, I just find it better to glue last. And of course, more of this, this is the tulip fabric paint. And if you are new to my channel, you are gonna hear me say puff paint. And then there'll be those, some people that are say, that's not the same thing. And you know, it's just, sometimes you have things in your head and you say things and you think things, and it's just, it's what I go with. Puff paint, it is for the win, fabric paint. 
Also, these cute little gingerbread houses. These were from Hobby Lobby at 50% off. So they're two bucks for that cute little bundle. And then, of course, some sprinkles. Those were from Amazon. And that is the second cutest little coffee cup I've ever seen. found these square wood pieces from Dollar Tree not too long ago as well and I thought they were so cool because I've never seen them before and they're a pretty big size. So I went ahead and stained it with a dark walnut and I, then I'm going to go ahead and use this Chalk Couture silk screen transfer, this silk screen stencil. I love it and I will link it down below for you guys. I just love all of their Christmas transfers right now and there's always some sort of sale going on every single day on their site. So if you can't find one now, you'll find one eventually, but I love all their Christmas and I think I bought almost every single transfer. I'm using the candy apple red color in chalk paste and then now I'm going to go ahead and just embellish this and just make it look super cute. I have a ton of this greenery and berries and pine cones and gold berries and gold embellishments and all the things and I just have a big old Ziploc bag full of this stuff. So I don't have a clue where this came from. Walmart, Michael's, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, you name it. It probably came from one of those places. But you guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to check out and shop Anna Luisa. I will link them in the description box below for you guys so you can get your Christmas shopping started. All right, that is it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.